And now I'm delighted to welcome to the lectern my fellow Stern grad, Sohail Mather, who just closed on an apartment this morning. <laughs> Thank you, Jason, um, and I appreciate the shout out. He also just moved into an apartment he bought, so <laughs> it's uh, positive news to go all around. So I want to admit something. I think I was a bit cynical when I started at Stern. When I was looking into schools, going around meeting people from them, everyone would say Stern had something special about its culture and its community, and it was unique. And I would hear that a lot, and I would just think, every school says that. It doesn't really mean anything. But I have to be honest, after four years of actually being a part of the community, I'm now the one who happily tells everybody that I found my classmates at Stern to be some of the kindest and most generous people I've ever met. That's why I want to take this opportunity here today to talk about what I learned from all of you and how you made my years at Stern special. We all came to school at major inflection points in our lives. We wanted a new career. We wanted to pivot to a different industry. We wanted to go professionally and personally. We were all under intense pressure because we were in this environment where we had to balance self-discovery and introspection with competition and quite often rejection. It was the kind of environment where facing the most stressful and challenging moments of our lives, you'd think people might turn inwards focus on themselves and their individual pursuits. But that's not what happened. No, instead I was continuously amazed by the lengths I saw Stoneyids go to help each other. People who might not hang out with each other outside of school would spend hours casing each other, coaching each other for job interviews, sharing class notes, tutoring each other for tests, and in some cases, as I did, even doing each other's homework. <laughs> and it wasn't just self-interest. Because these were people doing the same, going for the same dream jobs, giving people who were supposed to be their competition a helping hand. It was like we had our own social contract. Help others because you know what it's like to need help. You can't be cynical in the face of that. Our primary focus at Stern was getting that dream job. But the further I get from Stern, I'm not thinking about the internships or the professional opportunities I had here. I'm not even thinking about how it led me to my job. No, I'm thinking about how we treated each other with compassion, how we took care of each other like we were more than just fellow students, how we helped each other as much as we helped ourselves, how we made this place special. So I want to thank all of you for teaching me, for showing me, and for being there for me. Thank you for banishing my cynicism, for reminding me that the things that matter most in life are people and relationships. That's the lesson I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life and bring to every environment that I go to, trying to make it special. And I owe you for that. So thank you, everyone, especially the alums and their families who made the effort to come here, including my father, who's here from India. A special thank you to Marielle O'Connell. I love you. Thank you.